Welcome to this week's Head Gardeners video log. This week, as per usual, I've included my Vista of the Week, and just to shake things up a bit, the top five plants of the week are all conifers. Just to let you know, we're working hard to keep the garden looking good, so that hopefully when we're given the green light, we can open and you can come and enjoy. Please stay safe, and I look forward to welcoming you to my next video log. Conifers come from all over the world, but it's rather nice to feature one that's native. This is Pinus sylvestris, or the Scots pine. It has a lovely narrow form and this gorgeous bark. Podocarpus henkelii is a rather nice South African conifer. It has this wonderful foliage. It's a lovely lima green color at this time of year. It really does set itself apart from other conifers. Pinus radiata, or the maritime pine, were traditionally planted in the Cornish gardens because of their resistance to salt winds. This wonderful old specimen has a beautiful structure to it at Treba and is really set off against the beech trees surrounding it. Willemia nobilis, or the Willemi pine, was until recently thought extinct. It was then rediscovered in a valley in Australia and then micropropagated. This particular plant is now around about seven to eight meters in height and has lovely female cones. It has this gorgeous narrow form and really does fit in well at the edge of the Chilean coom. Araucaria aracana is a wonderful South American conifer that has these armoured leaves. They're vicious to the touch and you can see why it gets the name the monkey puzzle. The puzzle being how it gets to the top of the tree to harvest the nuts. Making into Vista of the Week this week is this wonderful view back up through the valley. With Mallard Bridge in the foreground, surrounded by the hydrangeas, the Gunnera Plantation in the middle, and the house at the head of the valley, it really is a wonderful view. Give it a few weeks time and the hydrangeas will start to flower, and it'll just be a sea of blue. <laughs> 